Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about it's to see if Dustin Poirier should get the next title shot, realistically. So we already know that at UFC 300, uh, Charles Oliveira, Armin Sayukian are fighting. Now Charles and Islam Makachev were scheduled to fight each other and then a cut took Charles Oliveira out of that fight where Volkanovski, Alexander Volkanovski, Stepped in on very short notice, like 10 days notice, and was knocked out by a head kick and some follow-up punches. But he was knocked out by the head kick. Um, so now they're having a number one contender. So now, again, the question becomes, does Dustin uh, Poirier, if everything lines up correctly, easily could step in there and fight Islam Makachev? Easily. Um, because uh, um, UFC 300 is in April. So Poirier just fought... Two days ago at this point and the interesting thing is because ufc 300 is in april it's going to be a little bit of time say perfectly everything goes perfect for one of these fighters and they can fight in you know five six months portier can fight in four months and he's ready he can fight in five months which is still earlier than charles or armin so there's honestly a realistic chance that Dustin Poirier can just slide his way right in there. Now, the fight with Islam versus Dustin is a completely different video and a completely different topic. You know, we all can have our assumptions about how that fight can go. But, you know, we've seen enough fights at this point, you know, to, to think about it. Yeah, April 13th is when the uh, Olivero Saryukin fight is. You know, and I think the question is, so Poirier has beaten... Uh, uh, Dan Hooker, Michael Chandler, now number 12, Benoit St. Denis, where a lot of people were thinking, ooh, this guy's, this guy's a monster. So there's that. Um, he's beating Bobby Green. You know, a Drew Dober fight with him would be absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. You know, so in this top ranking, he lost Oliveira. He's one and one with Gaethje. Realistically, I would have said do Gaethje Portier three. That's what I would have said, to be honest. Uh, just because they're one and one, and I mean, it's such a big fight. Jesus, such a big fight. Um, but I get, I get the Holloway fight. I get it. Um, Gamrot and Poirier are not going to fight their teammates. Not going to happen. Poirier Darius, I love, but I don't think Poirier wants that fight. He doesn't see uh, Benil as a. Uh, uh, um, Big name, which, okay, sure. Um, I don't think it fares very well with Darius, even though he's very, very good on the ground. Striking defense-wise, not great. Um, love Benil, though. Love Benny. Again, having a fight like with Charles, Dustin, even if you rushed things a little bit in that matchup, which he did, he'll tell you the same thing, uh, had moments on the feet. Um... His kryptonite is guys like Charles, like Khabib. You know, even uh, uh, Benoit Saint-Denis was having, uh, not to say his way, because he never took Poirier down. It was Poirier jumping a guillotine. And he defended well. He got out of it. He put himself in some bad positions that maybe Islam doesn't let him get out, for sure. I think the more submission threat guy, especially on the back, is Charles. Um, I think Islam Akachev would keep like the, the control there unless Poirier gave it up. Charles would just take that. He would find that submission. Islam would play like a uh, position over, you know, finish or whatever. It's kind of the same thing with Armin. He's not crazy a big finisher submission got wise guy. Um Gamera and just uh, Dustin would be very interesting because I think Dustin would be, it'd kind of be the same matchup wise with Benoit and Dustin and Dustin versus Gamera. Gamera's chin's very suspect. Dustin has great boxing, very good technique. Can he land? I would personally say yes. You know, and again, the the thing that I like a lot about this matchup, like Dustin Poirier, he has this. This was his thirtieth fight in the UFC. Or for the UFC. He's been finished six times in the UFC. Only lost one decision, but he's been finished six times. Yeah. Uh, 15 finishes. 15. That's wild. 
That is wild. And he only loses to the very best. He only loses to the best. So I think it's a very interesting thing to uh, think about because Islam Makachev is so good at what he's very, very good at and his striking is getting better. I don't think it's on the uh, caliber of Poirier, but I don't think it... Jesus, I don't think it necessarily has to be on the caliber of Poirier because it's, it's a different striking. Um, 13 wins in a row, only 32 years old. He'll be 33 in October. Um, 16 finishes, 11 submissions, though. 14 and one in the uh, in the UFC, you know, and he has nine finishes in the UFC. So, un pretty unbelievable. You know, Oliveira he submitted, uh, Tiago Moises he submitted, Dan Hooker Kimura, which he had, Drew Dober submitted, um, Cajun Johnson submitted, Gleason Tebow finished, uh, Leo, what a name that is, cunts, <laughs> rear naked choke, Ivic, oh boy, what is this name? Ivica Trusic Triangle. Guys, 25 and 21. Yuck. Lost to Adriano Martinez. Martins, which, yeah. So, again, it's, it's, it's a very interesting matchup. The reason why, again, it's super, super interesting is because uh, they're both really good finishers. And Dustin has had an issue with very, very good grapplers. You can even look at the Benoit St. Denis fight. Even though he didn't get taken down, Benoit was still able to do a lot of good things when he got him down to the ground or when he was on the ground. Um, I wonder if we can... So, no, that's... God dang it. Let's not do that. Not 98, but... You look at Dustin's... Uh, stats. You know, da-da-da-da. Let's see. Oh, that's... What are we doing? What are we doing? Right here. Okay. So Dustin Poirier. Right here. Thank you. Okay. Anyways, Dustin Poirier strikes landing per minute 5.5, 5.45. Takedown average 1.33. Accuracy is 36. Defense is 63. Submission. He goes for submissions 1.4. Uh, out of a 15-minute fight. Striking defense is 53. Strikes absorbed per minute, 4.36. 72-inch reach for Dustin Poirier. Now, if you look at uh, Islam Makachev, it's very interesting. Because we know him on the ground where is where uh, Dustin has had issues with like Khabib. And uh, Charles Oliveira is obviously able to finish him. So... I don't know if if we have seen enough in even in the Bowman Los Denis fight that has to give a lot of promise and a lot of uh, um, confidence to Islam Akachev. Oh, you can get him there. He may jump a submission, which okay, unless he can finish you. Fine, he's gonna end up on the bottom. You want to get on top. He can use those guillotines that Dustin goes for. For those things. Now on the feet, it's obviously a very competitive fight where Islam needs some space to throw his combinations, which are pretty good. He's a sneaky left straight. Uh, he has a very nice head kick, as we know, even besides the finish. Still throws a nice head kick. Poirier in tight does a lot of good work. It is literally, can Poirier land that punch to finish Islam? I don't know. I don't know. Islam is going to understand that he can't trade with Poirier. He has to clinch up with them. He has to work work on them a little bit. He has to uh, grind on them a little bit. You know, uh, lay heavy on them. Uh, make him work. So, unfortunately, I don't think Poirier beats a guy like Islam. I just, I, I can't say, even if he loses a decision and he defends all the submissions well, I believe he has his moments probably later in the fight. Um, he needs to stay technical. Don't pull the submission, a pull of the guillotine unless he thinks he has it, which, okay, if you don't have it, figure out a way to get back up safely. Um, he did that pretty well with Benoit. Stay technically defensive, even though I think the last one he ended up in uh, uh, Mount. Benoit ended up in Mount. You don't want to do that a lot with a guy like Charles or Islam. You just don't want to do those things. So, again... Point of the video, 
can Dustin Poirier get a title shot over his win, his win over uh, Benoit Saint Denis? Answer: I think so. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let's talk about it down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, peace.